I think it's really cool when a particular media or audio video format has a way of introducing itself. And a lot of the things on my channel are some of the things I found over the years are taken from demonstration medium. So whether it's a laser disc telling you about laser disc or it's a DVD that's actually touting how good DVD is. Well, Norelco was the original brand that brought the cassette to the United States under the, uh, the parent company of Philips. And Norelco uh, introduced the music cassette in 1966. And what I have here and what I found is a demonstration cassette from 1967. And I'm going to play you some selections from it simply because the person who owned it didn't leave it in its original content. But the songs that are on it, um, I used the, uh, the little feature that's built into Siri, which is uh, used to determine the names of songs. Um, and she was able to recognize the music that was on here. So I could verify that it was, in fact, the material that's on the cassette. But over the years, cassette has made some, some incarnations, uh, different incarnations, and, and done so uh, with improvements in the process. So originally, Norelco Phillips introduced the cassette in the United States as a, uh, a dictation format, a way to record your own voice and for some, somebody else to type what you wrote or to send messages or make voice recordings. And in, like I said, 1966, they decided to introduce the music cassette, which was the compact cassette and the pre-recorded music format. They wanted cassettes to be taken seriously as a music format. And that is what this demonstration tape here uh, attempted to do. Uh, I love the very, you know, simple labeling there, just a, almost like a strip of tape with some, uh, some labeling on it. As time went on, though, uh, the cassette made some improvements, and uh, the cassette, uh, you know, changed in uh, appearance and became stereo. So, like in uh, on, in the case of this cassette, this is from 1972, and uh, is a stereo tape made by Ampex, and it happens to have Dolby noise reduction on it as well. So that tells you just how far back. Uh, Dolby and uh, the attempt to make good quality tapes uh, has been with us. And then, of course, a modern incarnation of the cassette, which would be this one from Sting, introduced in, uh, what is that, 1996. So uh, this particular cassette uh, is a more modern one and is pretty much looks like all modern cassettes, including the packaging. Uh, notice on this middle one here, the the actual cassette shell is not your standard clamshell type, but it is a an, an insert type sleeve almost. It's like a plastic sleeve. So you would take the cassette and actually stick it into this box from the side like that. And that's how you would carry your, uh, carry your music around. Um, ironically, it fits into the same slot as a standard cassette would. So, but let's go back to this uh, demonstration tape because this is kind of the whole reason that I wanted to make this video. Uh, this particular demonstration tape, I've never seen one like it before, has the uh, uh, serial number or model number of MC60 there, so MC for a music cassette. And uh, the insert is kind of cool. Here are some of the titles that are on here, and again, some of these titles are still on here, and some of them have been erased or replaced with different songs. So you have music from the Francis Bay Big Band, Art Mooney, Roger LeCussand, and his club, Lido Orchestra. I'm probably just sacrificing these names here. Uh, Empire City, uh, the City Stompers, Nick Natos and his Fireballers, and so forth. So uh, before I totally crucify all those names. Here is the inside here. Uh, the Norelco music cassette had its own little logo. So Norelco, uh, of course, being famous for making razors uh, later on or maybe even before the cassette came along. So um, Philips introduced this, this format and uh, agreed to license it to other companies and that became the, the, uh, the ultimate in popularity because every company could 
could just make a cassette deck and sell it. So uh, that made it explode, which is exactly what VHS did. VHS licensed the technology to other companies and weren't like Sony and said, no, no, you're, you know, you're going to buy your, your product from us. We're, we're the only ones that are going to make it. Uh, and that almost never works. Look at Betamax, look at Minidisc, um, perfect examples of a company who just wanted to, uh, you know, own the show, so to speak, instead of sharing the technology with others and, and allowing it to become innovative. So, uh, so it says, uh, use the 30 minutes of tape on the second side of this cassette to make your own recordings. Make note of what you recorded in this handy index. And, of course, nobody actually did that. But uh, here you can see North American Phillips Company Incorporated and the address. Um, and then the date, which you see down here in the corner. Thankfully, they put it there. Uh, 1967. So... Um, around 50 years old at least by the time this recording video was made we have a 50 year old cassette so i've seen many people on uh youtube make comments or even in the news you know commenting to news items about the cassette making a re re resurgence and they're like i would never want cassettes cassettes sound so crappy well, if you have that uh, belief, then you never owned a good cassette deck because cassettes do not sound crappy. Cassettes are almost like a canvas. You know, you can make a crappy cassette on a cheap piece of equipment, but you can also make a pristine, uh, digital, almost quality recording that, that the untrained ear would not be able to tell the difference of. You could make the cassette of a CD and you'd be like, okay, which one's the source? Which one's the cassette? And the person would be like, I can't tell the difference. And in some cases, they might even say that the cassette sounds better because of the warmth of analog. So let's play you a couple of uh, so, uh, selections from this. So that way you can hear what cassettes sounded like in 1967 when Norelco was attempting to get music on cassettes and in people's hands.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to the Norelco Compact Cassette Music Cassette Tape Recorder System. Remember, ready, cassette, go. Go with Norelco for a complete tape system. Portables to car to home stereo. Norelco has every model, plus the Compact Cassette that fits them all. Cassettes are compatible, standardized to fit all Compact Cassette recorders. Stereo compatible too. Playable on both mono and stereo machines. Also available a wide selection of your favorite performers on pre-recorded cassettes.